I'm currently recovering from Crohn's disease, like I said, from 155 pounds. I'm now back up to 175 pounds. I'm an athlete, I'm a hockey player, and it's very difficult to be a six foot four, 155 pound hockey player at college. So this really affected me. I'd say for all of my sophomore year, I pretty much was on the bench. I just was fatigued. And at that, at that point, looking back, I can see how sick I was. And then I couldn't realize it and I couldn't bring myself, like I said, to get the colonoscopy to make sure that I was actually sick. So the turning point for me was when I went to Spain, which I ended up deciding to do. I was probably, at that point, up to maybe 160, 165 pounds. Um, in Spain, I had the time of my life. I decided that I wasn't going to hold back in Spain just because I had Crohn's disease. You know, the classic dumb mentality of a teenager. Uh, but I decided I'd drink, I decided I'd eat what I want, I'd try and just be conscious of taking my medication. And I guess, I don't know if it was a six month or seven month period since I had started my medication or whether it was the food in Spain, but I really started to feel healthier. Uh, I had not been putting on any weight, but I was maintaining a steady weight. I was not having diarrhea. Uh, I was enjoying the food. I could eat cheese for the first time. I could drink a beer and not get a, this horrible burning sensation in my gut, just such a common symptom. Uh, so all those things was just were absolute pleasures at that point, especially you know, have given them up after six months. To have those things and to have my health at the same time was a blessing. Um, and right now I'm talking to you three months after coming back from Spain. Since being at home with my mother's cooking, I feel even better. I think it's that time when I start coming back from this disease. They say that there are two spikes for the disease. One between 18 to 22, one between 60 and 70. And I'd like to think I'm getting over this first spike. And the problem with the disease is that it is lifelong. It doesn't go away. But when you get it under control in what's called the remission of the disease, you really you feel 100% at health, which is, like I said, such a blessing and such a relief after six, six months or a year of, you know, of basically a personal hell, of going to the bathroom 20 times a day and just seeing your body go in front of you, even though you want to keep it up for sports or for anything, for personal image.